Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'll be showing you how to make this jar file run under Adopt JDK environment, um, Adopt JDK 11 environment. Uh, when you try to run this uh, jar file, you get this error here, which is uh, a JNI error has occurred and please check your installation and try again. The error doesn't do any good to give us uh, any more information, but nevertheless, it tells us there's something wrong. So what's the problem? The problem is, on this machine as it is, we have two Java runtime environment. We have um, Java 8, the one from Oracle, and then I have Adobe JDK um, uh, 11. So this uh, Java file here was compiled to run under Adobe JDK 11. Uh, it's tempting to just uh, try and install uh, Adopt JDK 11 and hope for everything to work out itself, but that's not the case. Because when you check this uh, system here, uh, you will see that uh, um, we have both uh, Java 8 and Adopt JDK is also installed on the system. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we need to go to programs and then programs and features and you see yeah we have Adobe JDK and then we have Java 8. I don't want to move Java 8 because uh, there's some other programs that still need to use it but this uh, file in particular is supposed to use Adobe JDK. So before I even show you how to fix this problem, I've been on the internet and so many solutions have been uh, suggested. Some people have suggested that uh, um, you set uh, you go to your path environment, you go to your uh, system uh, envir uh, environment variables and uh, which we can access from right clicking to my computer properties and then now uh, we go to change settings and then from there we can go to uh, advanced and then from there we can go to environment and now uh, we can go to the system variables and look for uh, the path environment. Um, first of all, you can see Java Home is set to Adopt JDK, uh, but that's not stopping uh, the file from not running. And uh, they have suggested that you can go to the path environment, this one here, and uh, you right click uh, or you edit uh, the path environment and uh, make sure that, uh, let me just copy it to put it into uh, where we can see quickly what I'm talking about. I can paste it into Notepad. Uh, and then you can see it. So they've suggested that you can go there uh, and uh, change and, and make sure that uh, the first uh, field into this uh, string, this one here, is set to adopt JDK uh, bean. Uh, so you, in other words, you get this folder from where you installed, uh, uh, from where your adopt JDK was installed. That is program files. And then you go to Adobe JDK and then Hotspot and then Bean. You copy this directory here, uh, copy the address and then come uh, paste it to be the first, uh, the first uh, uh, field in uh, this text here. I've done that, but still, you, you've seen yourself that it's still not working. Okay. And some other people have suggested that we can go online and download a program. I'll show you that program that, that uh, they've told me to download. Uh, this Jarfix file here. Uh, I've been told to uh, download that Jarfix file. You just run that program, and when you do, uh, you say yes, and then it will fix the problem uh, magically. Yes, this program fixes the problem, but unfortunately, it's not for Adopt JDK because this program is hard coded or hardwired to only fix the problem if uh, um, the Java runtime environment you want to set. Uh, for your jar file to run uh, to run your jar file once it's double clicked is um, uh, the one from Oracle which is installed under C program files Java JRE 1.8 so this did not solve our problem either so what do we do uh, this program seems to be like trying to solve the problem it's just that the problem is it's not doing it for uh, or, uh, adopt JDK so what I did was I had to go uh, the way to fix the way to fix this problem, uh, forgetting about all these other fixes, uh, we will still need uh, this uh, what you call. We'll still need um, to go to okay. Don't save. Uh, we'll still need to go to uh, where Adobe JDK is installed, and uh, that's program files. Adobe JDK hotspot and then bean file and then we still need this address here uh, for our fix so what we're gonna do is we um, 
gonna go to uh, to a start and then we gonna run rage edit R E G um, E D I T we need uh, rage edit uh, exe and then we're gonna double click we're gonna click on there and then yeah we're gonna accept and then uh, you can see I'm already selected uh, to the fields that I want to change but uh, to give you a clue you go back up here and then uh, before all this uh, unfolded because you'll find them in fight you're going to have to go to the H key uh, classes route you're gonna open that and then just select any so that we can search uh, for the uh, jar file uh, field that we need to change you just press J and then it will take it uh, it will take us straight to the jar file uh, field uh, you're going to open the jar file field let's just hope everything will be uh, closed we need this one here the jar file field you're gonna open it and then this will be open you're gonna open the shell the uh, the open field will be closed uh, you open it you expand it and then you click on the command so right in the values side here uh, if we scroll at the first well you will see that uh, the field that the jeff fix program wanted to uh, fix for us is this one here but what it did it put the jre runtime environment for oracle uh, uh, for, J uh, for Java 8 while I needed the open JDK one so what you need to change is here you need to change this value here so for you to be able to change that value and pre uh, and put uh, our directory where our open JDK is installed you need to double click on the first field you need to scroll to the beginning of the panel double click here and then in the field here, make sure that you leave the Java, Java W, okay? Uh, you leave the Java W.exe, you don't touch that, but we're starting here from bean, and then we're going to the C. Please make sure that color, uh, uh, that uh, quote, uh, that double quote is not deleted, okay? I've deleted all uh, the info that was there. The double, call, uh, the double quote is still there, and now I'm pasting. Uh, the directory to the open JDK that we have and this directory is from C program files open JDK JDK 11.0.11.9 .11 hotspot slash bean slash Java Java W E X E uh, uh, dot e, sorry Java W dot E X E and then we need to leave this uh, uh, switches uh, okay, because this is the command that operating system is going to run the moment they double click your jar file So we need to leave the switches as they are don't tamper with them Just fix this one here only and then press ok and then from there Let's go to the file that didn't want to run and see if this has managed to fix the problem And then when you double click on a file sure yes enough uh, the uh, the jar file now can be open with open jdk and uh, the good thing is this doesn't mess up with the jar files that run with the uh, uh, java runtime environment uh, uh, 8 yeah no it doesn't because if i go to my folder here and uh, try to get just one uh, file that needs to run under java 8 you'll see that it still runs so this is the way you can fix this problem here i was trying to look all over the internet adopt jdk jar not running this is the way you fix it you just need to set a rich uh, some uh, fields in the rich editing of in the rich edit of your um, operating system and then uh, yeah point it to the right uh, java runtime environment that you want to run your uh, open jdk files and also you will still be able to run all the other jar files. I hope this helped you guys and I hope it has uh, helped you fix your problem. If it did, please, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to show some love. Uh, when you subscribe, uh, you give us more power to keep on doing this kind of videos to save you more time. So please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friend if it did help you. That's it for today. Peace. I'm out.